The town Piwa is situated in the northwest of Poland, 240 kilometers from Germany's capital Berlin. Until 1945, Piwa belonged to Germany and was called Schneidemühl. In 1907, a large steam locomotive repair workshop was founded here and taken over by the Polish railway when the town came to Poland. In 1989, Polish state railway PKP and the German rail enthusiast Hermann Schmittendorf founded the Piwa-based repair workshop Interlock. The objective was to maintain in Poland industrial repair capacities for heritage means of transport once there would be no longer any steam locomotives in standard timetable services. At present, Interlock is owned by private shareholders from Germany, France, Poland, Spain, Greece, Switzerland and Great Britain. Financed by the French Ministry of Culture, the company regularly repairs steam boilers of locomotives classified as Monument Historique, Historical Monument. The company was lucky to rescue from destruction unique technical documentation of basically all steam locomotive classes that ever ran in Poland, starting from Prussian times and going on with locomotives from America. This and constant training of young specialists makes Interlock the right address for tasks elsewhere seemingly impossible to settle. In 1989, when Interlock started, there still were about 300 specialists at the Piwa Works who dealt with steam locomotives and boilers. This allowed them to specialize. At present, Interlock employs about 20 specialists who are experts in certain fields, but also all-rounder. There are engineers and constructors well remembering the times of the large workshop. Cooperation with the German partner workshop and shareholder Malova Bahnwerkstatt further helps to settle difficult tasks. It is delightful to see that the youngest employees at Piwa are already fully capable to do their job. Where in Europe you find 22 years old youngsters who are building new fireboxes maintaining all actual technical standards. If required, they also fully build and equip a narrow gauge restaurant car or reconstruct container platform cars after a heavy accident. These Spanish cars and bogies were reconstructed for a German customer. If desired, Interlock also deals with smaller diesel locomotives. This former Brickworks diesel received a luxury outfit according to the customer's wishes, including a mechanical bell made in Piwa. In cooperation with a partner engineer, Interlock also offers different kind of rail bicycles and hand pump cars for all gauges. The range of constructive solutions is constantly growing. The aim is to offer reliable, safe and comfortable vehicles in vintage optics. This steam-propelled road vehicle from 1921 also was completely reconstructed by Interlock after having been dumped over 20 years in a barn. There were no drawings and descriptions at all and many spare parts missing but the interlock crew brought the road steamer back to full operating condition. Steam roller and agricultural steam machines also were completely refurbished in the past. As usual, they come without any drawings or descriptions, but the Piwa specialists succeed in bringing them back to service. The main occupation for interlock, however, are steam locomotives of all gauges and sizes. Because of the limited work area at the company's site, the repair of complete locomotives is seldom happening and limits to small size vehicles, such as Polish narrow gauge steam locomotives of PX48 or LAS class. This standard gauge steam locomotive of TKT48 class also was repaired by Interlock. The boiler was done at Piwa. Assembling took place at the customer's site. An absolute specialization, however, took place in all kinds of steam boilers. Thanks to traditional manufacturer technologies, Interlock boilers keep on working without substantial repairs over more than 20 years.
When an old boiler comes in, it is often not more than scrap. Corrosion destroyed important parts. Here we see a completely desolate old firebox with stays that lost their workability long time ago. Here we see other parts of defected pressure vessels. No chance to repair these elements. Either large sections have to be replaced, or, often this comes cheaper on the long, the whole boiler will be manufactured new. Depending on the customer's wishes, a new boiler may be fabricated fully welded according to the actual European Union's Pressure Equipment Directive PED or by using old technologies including riveting. Here Interlock CEO Henrik Parchewski examines an old worn-out boiler plate. Here we see him with similar new part. An interesting challenge was the reconstruction of this British First World War steam locomotive that ran in France until 1972. Large parts of the boiler were reconstructed at Interlock, whereas repair of tender and frame as well as assembling took place at Interlock's German partner workshop Malova. A locomotive of this type was once a star in the French Fantomas cinema movie with Louis de Funès. Here we see the components of another Fantomas steam boiler at Interlock's site. This time the order was given to manufacture such a complete new boiler, of course with a maximum of historical precision. Corrosion and boiler scale are well visible. This scene shows the dimensions of the new Fantomas outer box and firebox. There are lots of welds to lay. Of course, all by certified welders and checked by an independent laboratory. Here we see the new foundation ring manufactured according to modern tray design. Important is that all sections are forged, not cut out of plain steel or bent out of a half tube. Only this manufacture method secures that the inner metal structures are untouched, the element is stable and no electrolytic processes will weaken it. A new cylindrical part of the boiler is raised. And now attention please, we witness the forging of arches. The Fantomas boiler is more and more getting complete. An examination by the customer confirms everything is well done. The smoke box with the installed superheater. The new ash box for the Fantomas boiler. And now we get a lesson in riveting starting with the preparation of rivets.
the most perfect copy of a riveted boiler is, of course, a riveted vessel because all relevant parameters may stay the same. A welded copy needs certain changes. Two riveted sections have different diameters. If they are to be connected by welds in the new boiler, both diameters have to be the same. This change again requires further changes at other parts. Also, a modern welded boiler according to European boiler directive is heavier than the original one. New prescriptions require a higher test pressure than according to old codes. Therefore, constructive parts of welded boilers have to get thicker plates than previously. In return, such new boilers receive the CE sign and may be taken into service without additional examinations in all countries of the European Union. For interlock notified body according to EU regulations is the Technical Supervision Office TDT from Warsaw. They check all technical drawings and calculations and ensure that the boiler is built according to them. They also examine all certificates of material, workers and company. At the end, the factory new boiler receives the TDT passing mark with the inspector's control number. Here we see some boiler repairs. This stay is a little leaking and will be fixed. The boiler was built in France in 1906, but large parts of it are still in good shape. A factory new tube plate. And the new firebox. Again, some demonstration of forging. Stability and durability is received by heat and hammer. Here, the factory new steam locomotive boiler is loaded to a lorry. For each metal sheet, the manufacturer has to give a quality certificate. In order to identify used metal for the different sections, each part receives inscriptions of the kind of steel as well as the number of the lot according to the written certificate. In addition, the person of the company responsible for quality control stamps the metal with his control number. This is only one of the details to be checked by the inspector before he passes a new boiler. 
For control purposes and washing out, boilers require several mud holes. They are closed by heads of special construction. Such spare parts of own production also are delivered by Interlock. The firebox for a Polish PT-47 express train Steve locomotive. Some years ago, this German steam locomotive had a heavy accident. The owner ordered a new boiler from Interlock. CEO Henrik Palszewski shows the old firebox and outer box as well as different new parts. Again, the foundation ring is welded and in tray shape as well as all forged. The previous massive foundation ring seen here was riveted to inner and outer firebox. Of course, for historical constructions, Interlock also offers this solution. Interlock Piwa, your address for high-class repairs and manufacturing of historical transport vehicles.